Hey, what's going on guys? It's your old pal CHH. Back to normal. The beard is back. It grew back faster than a freaking lightning bolt. But today we're talking about something from Cauldron Films. This is a classic movie. What movie is that? Well, you clicked on the damn title of the video, but that is City of the Living Dead. The new 4K UHD release from Cauldron. That's right, not Blue Underground. Pretty interesting, right? Because Blue Underground put out those previous Blu-ray releases that came out for this film. There's a lot of competition now in the world of physical media, which is a good thing. And seeing Cauldron Film put this out, I gotta be honest, made me a little weary. Who are these people? I had a couple titles from them, but they weren't necessarily proven to me. Could they take a release like City of the Living Dead and do it properly? Could they maximize the picture quality and audio for a release like this? There was only one way for me to find out. That was to watch and subsequently review this release. Now when it comes to Lucio Fulci, I find myself saying two things. My all-time favorite movie from him is Zombie, and then my second favorite is Blank. Now this becomes a revolving door. Now this is not me trying to just be wishy-washy, but the truth is, Lucio Fulci has so many great classic films. The correct answer for my second favorite one he's done is pretty much whatever the last one is I watched. So after revisiting City of the Living Dead, especially with this new Cauldron 4K, I gotta say, I feel like City of the Living Dead is potentially my second favorite he's ever done. I mean, yes, there's the Beyond and things like that, which is amazing and I love, and if I go watch that tomorrow, maybe I'll say it's that. But coming out of this 4K UHD of City of the Living Dead, I am over the moon at how good this movie is. There's this town of Dunwich, and before you know it, this priest hangs himself. Talk about a very dark opening. I like to say that Lucio Fulci operates in his own fragments of reality. My buddy Pizzo put this very perfectly when it comes to this movie. City of the Living Dead is an hour and a half of a horror-fueled nightmare, start to finish. From the imagery to some of the gore stuff, it will make your blood curl. City of the Living Dead is not for the faint at heart, and even though it's not on the level of gross out the way like Cannibal Holocaust is, it's in the conversation. We see this priest hang himself, and there's this seance going on at the beginning of the film where our main character, she passes out from seeing the sights of what is about to happen. The gates of hell are literally going to open because of this priest sacrificing himself, and bodies and people are going to start rising from the dead. But this film contains one of the most haunting scenes I've ever seen in an Italian horror film. That scene is when the girl is buried in a casket, and her body is lowered. Two guys are starting to put the dirt back over the casket, but it's time to go home. And in Lucio's world, these two guys don't finish the job, they just leave this casket in the ground, not covered up yet. There's a cemetery that I live right by by my house, and I run past it at night, and I'm always freaked out that I'm going to hear a yelling sound that's muffled, meaning it's coming from below some kind of surface to give it that muffled sound. And my biggest phobia is that I'm going to hear a body yelling for its life. And that happens. My fear becomes a reality in City of the Living Dead. It's one of my favorite scenes of all time from an Italian horror film, if not my favorite. Maybe it's the shark and zombie from Zombie, but okay, second favorite. Once we realize that the gates of hell are open and bodies start rising, we get some of the grossest visuals I've ever seen. There's one scene where this priest that you can see right here, this priest takes a handful of worms and maggots, pushes it into this woman's face, and it is the grossest thing I've ever seen. But it's also the most Italian horror thing I've ever seen. There's no doubt that this movie has some of the nastiest scenes ever. There's even a scene in this movie where this girl starts vomiting up her innards. And I can't describe to you how brutal this is to watch. It is like nothing you've ever seen or probably will ever see. A lot of people will tell you that City of the Living Dead, aka The Gates of Hell, is the best Lucio Fulci movie. And while I'm always ride or die for a zombie, watching this film for the first time in a few years and seeing it on this 4K, it is very, very hard to argue. This movie is a nightmare the way nothing else could possibly be. Not even a nightmare on Elm Street. I'm not saying that this is better than a nightmare on Elm Street. It's totally different. But this is so haunting, it's one of a kind. Now, you can watch it with the original Italian audio, but my thing is this. When I got into Italian horror, I genuinely started watching these with the English dubs, and I still would keep the subtitles on because that's how I roll. But that's the way I'm accustomed to watching these. So you can watch this with the Italian audio as well. But something about the dubs, I prefer that way. That's the way I came into Italian horror. That's the way I'm going to stick with Italian horror as long as I can. If it doesn't have an English dub on it, then I'll listen to it the Italian. But if there's an English dub, I always go that way. That's the way I've approached the subgenre. And that's the way I prefer to keep approaching that subgenre. Something about the English dubs makes it feel authentic for me one way or the other. Because that's how I know it. All in all, guys, when it comes to this movie, I give this... This movie a 9.5 out of 10. It is as 
as close to a perfect haunting nightmare as anything I've ever seen, and I truly, truly can't emphasize how gross and intense this movie is if you have not seen it. It is a nightmare-fueled experience, and I highly request you watch this late at night, turn the lights out, and let the film enter the room. You will get uncomfortable. Now, like I said, Cauldron Films is new, so reviewing this was going to be very interesting to me. I was kind of nervous. I didn't want to have to come on here and say, guys, this ain't it. Maybe Blue Underground should have kept their hands on this. But I'm very happy to report that this was an incredibly well done 4K release. Is it just me? Have I noticed two things? There's 4K releases, then there's boutique label 4K releases. There is a shine that the boutique labels do when they make their 4K releases that is, you can just tell when you're watching that kind of 4K release where it's like that extra mile was gone for it. And it looks sensational. City of the Living Dead was an exceptionally well done 4K, and I have previous releases of this movie. I have the Blue Underground Blu-ray, I even have the 4K scan Blu-ray that I believe Scorpion releasing put out, and I can tell you right now, none of them, even the 4K scan, come even remotely close to this. This was done so well, everything looked incredible, the nighttime stuff had so much definition, had so much clarity, the black levels were, were really great because there was a smoothness to it, but everything was so well defined, you can see the outlines of people from a dark room really well. So with a movie like City of the Living Dead, there are a lot of colors in it, there's a lot of nighttime scenes, this would be a very difficult movie to get done right I feel, but this was done perfectly. I mean, the 4K scan for this was great, so a massive thumbs up to Cauldron Films. You guys are off to a really great start, if you ask me. I don't have a whole lot of releases from Cauldron, but I can tell you this. If you are worried about that, don't, because I can tell you that Cauldron did a great job. I don't know that anybody else would have done really a better job than what they did because they knocked it out of the park. They did a fantastic job with the picture and the audio quality was great. This movie is a 185-1 aspect ratio. It does have DTS audio and of course it has Dolby Vision. So, I mean, this is everything you would need from a great 4K release in terms of sound and picture. Watching this release was like a first time watch because it's so much better than those older Blu-rays. I definitely think it's worth the upgrade, especially if you're even a mediocre fan of this film and you watch it maybe once a year or so you will not regret grabbing this 4K release. Great job, Cauldron. This is basically the standard release of the film, so you're not going to get a slipcover or anything like that, but it is a collector's version nonetheless. So here's the artwork you get on there. Here's the backside. Now, it does have reversible art. Now, this is what it is. I don't think it's as good as the front art, but that's our lead actress in the film. So I keep it on this side because you get that really, really creepy shot of the priest on the front. I just think it's a, I think that's really good artwork. They did a great job. And that scene in the movie will mess you up. But you do get three discs on this release. So you're going to get your movie on Blu-ray. You're going to get your bonus disc, which has all your extras on there. And then, of course, you're going to get your 4K disc. They kept the disc art simple. Uh, I'm fine with that. I think that looks good. With the bonus features, let's take a look at that. And I'll tell you some of the standout ones for me. We've got Zombie Kings, interview with Massimo Antonello Gileng, Requiem for Bob, interview with Giovanni Lombardo Radis, The Meat Munching Movies of Gino De Rossi, Carlo of the Living Dead, an archival interview with actor Carlo De Mejo, on stage Q&A with Valentino Vananti and Rogero Diodato, I'm going to butcher these names, Catriona McCall, Q&A from the Glasgow Theater, Music for a Fleshed Feast, Fabio Frizzi, Q&A, Katrina McCall archival video intro, a trip through Bonaventure Cemetery, archival interviews with cast and crew from Pora Luau Fulci, Remembered Volume 1. And you're also going to get new commentaries. On Disc 1 and 2, you get new commentaries with Sam DeHaan, commentary by Troy Haworth and Nathaniel Thompson, and an archival commentary with Katriona McCall. So great bonus features on here. A lot of those interviews were great. Now those guys speak Italian in there. So the ones that you're listening to the interviews with, they, they'll be subtitled. But they gave a lot of great insight to the great Lucio Fulci. Uh, talking about how there's really no more directors the way he did. He was a trailblazer. He was never to be told no. And he was up against so many obstacles. One of the biggest ones were usually money obstacles. But he always overcame. But the coolest thing about this release in terms of the special features, I have to say, is the walk to of that cemetery in Georgia that was used in this film. They did it so great. They didn't have somebody talking about it. They had creepy music underneath it, and it was a panned walkthrough of the cemetery, and it was creepy. And it was very soothing at the same time, so I watched it twice, and I loved it. So, great special features on here. It's stacked. Guys, this release, easily, easily gets two very enthusiastic thumbs up. If you are getting into Italian horror, and you've seen Demons, you've seen Demons 2, you've seen maybe Suspiria, 
this is one that you should get into because it's got good acting in it. The dub is really good for most of the people. And the only ones that I thought were not so great were maybe an actor or so in the beginning where it did, just didn't match that well. But for the majority of the cast throughout, the dubs were actually good and not distracting whatsoever. And the picture quality on this will blow your balls away. So truly am super enthusiastic. I love this release. I love this film, City of the Living Dead. This is one of my favorite 4Ks this year, guys. Uh, this will be coming out soon, the standard collector's edition release of City of the Living Dead from Cauldron Films, guys. There it is. This is your old pal CHH. What is your favorite Lucio Fulci film? Huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.